A teaspoon of these bad boys would weigh about 4 billion tons. Astronomers have just discovered a pretty young pulsar, which seems to be the most powerful one ever observed. Pulsars are basically neutron stars that emit beams of electromagnetic radiation, and they point straight toward Earth. Neutron stars are some of the densest objects in the universe. They come after massive stars explode, so they're practically the collapsed cores of massive stars. Although these objects boast about one and a half times the mass of our sun, they typically measure about 20 kilometers across. A teaspoon of these bad boys would weigh about 4 billion tons. I know, mind-blowing. We have a good understanding of how they form, but we have a lot to learn about their evolution. The newfound pulsar star is known as BT 1137-033. Astronomers in these names. But I don't blame them. There are just so many stars out there that you have to design codes for them so that they can keep track of them more easily. So, the new pulsar seems to be extremely energetic. Scientists say it appears it's about 10,000 times more energetic than the crab pulsar. And more surprising is that it has an even stronger magnetic field. It's so strong that no one is sure whether it belongs to another class of neutron stars, magnetars. Magnetars have the strongest magnetic fields in the universe. Their magnetic fields typically range from a thousand trillion times stronger than Earth's to somewhere between a hundred to a thousand times stronger than a pulsar's. If the newfound pulsar is instead of magnetar, this would mark the first time astronomers have caught a magnetar in the act of appearing. Astronomers found the new pulsar using data from the Very Large Array Sky Survey, a seven-year project of the National Radio Astronomy Observatory, which is conducting three full-sky scans from the Very Large Array, BLA, near Socorro, New Mexico. When finished, it will have mapped about 80% of the sky over the course of three separate runs. Scientists first observed the pulsar in 2018. It lies in a dwarf galaxy about 400 million light years away. Because we observed this object again in 2019, 2020, and 2022, it's obvious that it isn't just a transient radio burst of some kind. Right now, the object appears to be a pulsar wind nebula, a neutron star that accelerates nearby charged particles at almost the speed of light. Wonder how it does that? Well, as the pulsar spins extremely fast, hundreds of times per second, its magnetic field and radiation beams sweep through the surrounding nebula, causing gas there to ionize and emit radio light. Another interesting thing is that the pulsar appears to be in its infancy, between 14 and 80 years old. Astronomers came to this conclusion because the pulsar wasn't seen in an earlier BLA sky survey made in 1998. This suggests that the object is one of the youngest neutron stars yet found. The finding was announced on June 15th at the 240th meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Pasadena, California. You can find the source link below. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell so you do not miss any upcoming videos.